Hey guys, welcome back to another No Bullshit Review. I am back reviewing cigars. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the last couple of videos. I get uh, pretty honest with you. Uh, one with the video about how I don't always know what I'm going to talk about when I do a video and the last video uh, talking about my nephew, which I hope, uh, I really hope was a video that uh, you guys were able to connect with and relate to. But I appreciate you watching both of those videos and all the feedback I got on those videos. So I thank you uh, very much for uh, checking them out and supporting me. It means the world. But as I said, I'm back to doing reviews, and this week I'm continuing on with a brand that uh, really needs no introduction. I have talked about them a number of times. I uh, smoked one of their cigars recently. I reviewed it, and it was part of their Good and Evil line. The cigar I smoked before this one was called The Triumph, and this one is called The Battleground. So we are going, well, I, me, not we, uh, am going to be smoking the Morales Good and Evil battleground so let's gear up and well i guess prepare for battle it's actually going to be pretty chill so forget the battle part but anyways cue music <laughs> What's up, everybody? You are watching Dad Smoking Cigars, sponsored by StogieLives.com. And, of course, Casa Cueva Cigars from our casa to yours. Thank you so much for joining me for another review video. Uh, I'm glad to be back into the swing of doing some reviews, talking about cigars, talking about how they taste and how they make me feel and all the experience stuff that we all have come to, well, wrap our minds up in when we're smoking cigars. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's I said what I said. <laughs> but um, I'm glad to be back and I'm looking forward to trying this delicious looking cigar as I mentioned before I'm going to be smoking the Morales uh, Good and Evil Battleground the last Morales cigar that I smoked was the Triumph which was very good I'm looking forward to trying this one because it is a uh, pretty much a barber pole cigar it has a Ecuadorian Connecticut and San Andres wrapper respectively and it is wrapped around some very uh, lovely uh, Cuban seed Dominican tobacco so simple blend but at the same time I doubt I'm going to get simple flavors so I'm not going to talk anymore because I know what you're here for you're here to hear about this cigar so I'm gonna get to cutting lighting and smoking and give you my initial thoughts gonna bust out yet again my select draw cigar cutter uh, this thing is honestly I enjoy its uniqueness and what it can actually bring to the draw of a cigar you have to be very careful and gentle though because I have had issues with the cap getting cracked if I decide to puncture too uh, far into the cigar but overall, it has given me a pretty, pretty decent experience, um, just by using uh, this, uh, just using this three prong cutter, and it's actually very interesting. Mm. Might need to give it a little bit more punch. Some of these, do it one by one. Again, don't want to crack the cap too much because that has happened, and I don't want that to be a problem. Let's try one more time. Pretty good draw. So now that we've got a relatively smooth draw, hmm, very light flavors, not too strong on like the dried fruit that I normally get when I'm doing a cold draw. It's actually kind of light and airy, not too much sweetness that I'm getting. Um, the cap of the cigar is mainly the San Andres, so I'm not tasting any sweetness from the Connecticut. Um, so we'll just see what it tastes when I light it up. I think it's toasted enough. I think it's toasted enough. Mmm. Mmm. Some toasted, nutty sweetness right from the very beginning very stark contrast to that cold draw which naturally once you light it up once you add fire to the mix it definitely changes the flavor profile because you know when you're puffing on it cold 
you're just getting the basic flavors of the tobacco that are uh, blended in the cigar, but then you light it up and it just brings it out. So that is my initial impression on those first puffs, just toasted nutty sweetness. The sweetness is subtle. There's some cream in there and I'm gonna go ahead and puff on it a little bit more, see what else I get. Definitely some more of that toasted nuttiness with some sweet in there, some cream. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda touch up the foot a little bit because I missed a spot. Shame on me. Party foul. Kyle, what the hell's wrong with you? Anyway, may have to punch a couple more uh, spots with the Southern, uh, well, Southern. Southern draws a cigar. Select draws a cutter. Get that in your head, Kyle. Come on. La, 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 la. They both have draw in the name, and the first word starts with S, so my brain is just doing stupid word association instead of what it actually is supposed to be. So apologies to Select Draw. That was not intentional. And Southern Draw, too. Open it up a little bit more, still getting those same flavors, nothing's really changed. And uh, draw still a little tight though, I think that has a little bit to do with the fact that I haven't opened up the cigar as much as I need to, so I may just have to give it a little snip. But uh, first impressions are good, and I'm tasting um, the sweetness of the Connecticut with a little bit of that nutty flavor from the San Andres wrapper, kind of that Habano profile flavor and they're mixing quite well. And uh, first impressions are good. I'm looking forward to just relaxing and kicking back. I think I might watch a little bit of a movie in the interim, and uh, I'm thinking I might watch the uh, new Texas Chainsaw on Netflix, but you guys really don't care about that. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke this because it's good and I like it. Mm, so tasty. Oh, hi. <laughs> Just relaxing here, enjoying the battleground, the good and evil battleground by Morales. And um, the flavors are very simple and straightforward. And it's still kind of maintaining that woody, nutty flavor, a little bit of cream. The sweetness is dissipated a little bit. There's not as much. The draw has gotten infinitely better as uh, I did decide to snip off the cap a little bit um, and use my um, my perfect draw actually I had to use my perfect draw tool to kind of open it up just a little bit but it opened up very nicely and the flavors are just they're they're so how do I put it the flavors make me feel very relaxed and at ease and kind of just letting it wash over me in a way where I'm just as, as stressful as life can be for so many of us these days, for the last couple of years really, and I won't get too deep into that, but you know, even after a good day, a cigar is in order. But you know, on a day, and today was a good day for me in particular, but then there are just those days, and even on good days, you still have things in the back of your mind and you have concerns that you're just, you're mulling over and stresses and different anxieties and stuff like that. And we all deal with things in various ways. And this cigar, the flavor and just how it's making me feel, I'm feeling very much at ease. And it's kind of washing over me in a nice, just really chill feeling, relaxed, calm, and maybe even a little bit at peace just because it's amazing how the flavor, the smoke of a cigar, and again, the simple, straightforward flavors, um, not really any spice that I'm detecting, um, woody and nutty, creamy flavor, and it's just smooth, very smooth. The Connecticut uh, blended with the San Andres wrapper and the Dominic uh, Cuban seed Dominican, uh, I believe, binder and filler. Um, it's just giving me such a nice, relaxing, calm feeling. And I'm definitely calming down from anything that might be bothering me or worrying me. You know, there's a lot going on with all of us and I am no exception and I'm just feeling very chill with this. Um, I was watching the movie I mentioned before and it's, you know, pretty anxiety inducing but even with that, smoking the cigar is helping me through it. 
Um, Re-embracing my love of horror films. I mean, what can I say? I used to watch some pretty gnarly horror films. Kind of lost my edge for a while. There's some movies I still won't watch, but you know, it's uh, it's an ode to a classic, and I just I just had to. So. I'm gonna continue enjoying that and relaxing and just the feeling the cigar's giving me is a very good one. Very relaxed, very chill. I'm able to kind of just let my worries and concerns uh, just pass over me. And you know, I would love to be smoking this cigar maybe in a change of scenery. I love my studio, I love being here, but I would love to be in like a, I don't know, maybe up at a cabin and just kind of enjoying the nice quiet uh, environment or near a beach that'd be nice too but this cigar i mean could take you anywhere let me just put it that way this cigar no matter where you are can take you anywhere and right now it's taking me to a very chill calm and relaxed place so i'm grateful for that grateful to morales for create creating and blending and crafting this very nice cigar this is the kind of cigar I, i've mentioned this about other cigars that i've smoked this would be a good smoke i would smoke i would love to smoke this on the regular just because you know, the feeling it's given me now, the flavor that it has, I, I think that it would just be a nice way to chill and relax. I, I, and this is yet another cigar I wish I was able to smoke in the morning with my coffee. So, but yeah, suffice it to say, it is uh, taking me to a good place. I'm going to stay in that place for a while. So, don't mind me. A little more relaxing, a little more chilling, just enjoying the cigar. Put it down a couple times, went out a couple times, but that's just because I kind of left it while I was watching my movie and just uh, chilling. And uh, I got to say that there has been a little bit of transition, not much. Still woody, still nutty. The creaminess has kind of dissipated. The sweetness is pretty much gone. There's a little bit of bready notes. Slight hints of like... There's a slight pepperiness to it, but not too bad. And yeah, definitely a subtle pepperiness. And uh, maybe a bit of spice or something along those lines. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's still very good. And I'm enjoying it all the way through. I am just, like I said, at ease, calm, chill, relaxed. And this cigar definitely put me there. And um, so yeah, man. <laughs> Not much else to say except the battleground. Um, didn't really have much uh, feelings of battle or conflict. It was mainly just relaxation, chill, and just enjoying the fact that I can smoke the cigar. And it's been wonderful, fantastic, all of the above. And yeah, very nice. And grateful to the uh, to everyone at Morales for sending me these. Uh, I was. Uh, it's a pleasure to get them. Um, glad I was able to pick some up while I was, you know, while I was able, and um, just delicious. Really enjoyed it. Very much relaxed, and uh, yeah, I don't get to enjoy barber poles much, but this one was a good one. With the Connecticut and San Andreas wrapper. San Andreas wrapper is one of my favorite wrappers on a cigar. Gives it a nice medium flavor, but that combined with the mild flavor, it was, it was stellar. So, thank you guys so much. Um, Manny and Yenny over at uh, Morales, you guys are incredible. I appreciate you guys and all the support you've given Dad Smoking Cigars over the last couple of years. It is very much appreciated. So, anyways, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for me. The cigar was excellent. I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely Dad Smoking Cigars approved. And uh, looking forward to trying the uh, last of the uh, Good and Evil line, which I believe is the Kakos. And, uh, but yeah, excellent. Very good. And I'm just going to continue relaxing and enjoying and uh yeah that's pretty much it for me guys thank you for joining me for another video i hope you enjoyed it uh please be sure to like uh, this video if you did like it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already but uh anyways guys that's it and uh as always i will catch you in the next one hey guys thanks again for tuning into this episode hope you enjoyed it be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and also follow Dad Smoking Cigars on Dad's underscore smoking underscore cigars on Instagram, and be sure to check us out on Facebook. Until then, guys, stay smoky, and I'll see you in the next one.